Welcome to Partner Solution Bytes. I am Gerardo, and I'm joined today by Greg from AC3. Welcome, Greg. Thanks, Gerardo. Thanks for having me. So, Greg, tell me, uh, you've done a lot of good work with customers, helping them migrate to Graviton. Why are you interested in this space? Uh, so, Graviton is a new processor from AWS, and it provides a really great performance increase for customers, mm -hmm. as well as reducing the cost, which is really fantastic as well. Yeah, so we're certainly seeing a lot of customers interested in making the move. Now, when you talk to customers, what sort of challenges did they tell you about? So some of the challenges that we've found is um, with older operating systems mm -hmm. or with compiled languages or um, libraries and interpreted languages that involve shared objects and, and recompilation is required. Cool. So how are you helping them with, this, with these challenges? Did, what did you build in order to help them in that transition? So we built a package called the Graviton Accelerator. As part of that, we've got an assessment, which is a questionnaire, and we've tried to find out what the workload looks like that the customer is running. So whether they're running an interpreted language, a recent version of Linux operating system, that sort of thing. From there, we've got a repeatable set of um, items which help do the migration so that it's really seamless and really quick for the customer. This is good. So the way I see it is you, have, you help them discover what is it that they have, what is it going to take to migrate, and then you help them with the migration itself. That's correct. Let's talk about that discovery. So what, what do you see in that discovery that makes it easy for an application to be migrated, and what makes it a bit not so easy? Good question. Uh, so what makes it easy? If they're running a recent version of a Linux operating system, and they're running an interpreted language such as Python, PHP, Node.js, something like that, uh, heading towards what makes it a little bit more complicated, if they're running uh, libraries that require shared objects as part of that, um, those interpreted languages, or they're running an older version of um, a Linux operating system, um, things that are, make it almost impossible or a no-go, Windows, for example, is a no-go, mm -hmm. um, compiled languages um, can be a no-go, and particularly if they're using um, specific instruction sets that aren't available on the Graviton processor, that's pretty much an impossible. Okay, so I'm guessing that um, in most cases you've been able to help customers making that transition. So how does that engagement look like after the discovery? So what do you actually do to, with, in the, during the implementation phase? Yeah, so from a high level, what we do is we uh, grab a new EC2 instance, put a, a new operating system version on that that's, su that's supportable by Graviton, mm -hmm. and deploy their application. And then we start working with the customer on feature testing and acceptance testing. Cool. So uh, the testing is a good one. So I'm guessing this is what actually gives customers the, the confidence they need before actually uh, moving the workload to production, right, in, on the, in Graviton instances. So how much testing do they actually do? So in general, we're seeing uh, around about two to three days for that testing to complete. It kind of depends uh, on the customer and whether they've got some tests ready to go, automated or manual. That does definitely help the process. If they don't, it can take a little bit longer. It may take a little bit shorter. Of course. So uh, can you tell me about a customer? Tell me about a customer you've done this with. Yeah, sure. So we've done this with a customer called Oztam mm -hmm. quite a little while ago now. Uh, this customer, uh, they do analytics of clickstream. So on your player, when you're pressing play, fast forward, rewind, they take that data and provide it back to the streaming service. Uh, they had some performance issues that they were hitting and missing some of that data, which is really important, right? Um, so what we did, we suggested Graviton. So we worked with them to redeploy their application and to start testing. During the testing phase, we managed to see a 22% performance increase. Not bad, not bad. So right on testing, you were already seeing performance increases. Um, what, what, what other benefits did they find at the end after they've made the full transition to production? So the other benefits uh, we saw were a 35% price performance increase, which is pretty much on par with what AWS quote at, at about 40%. And the other thing that we managed to calculate, of course, with Graviton is a 70% sustainability increase, which I think is really cool. Not bad. So they solved the performance issue, they improved performance, they reduced cost, and they're having the environment. That's right. What's not to like? That's right. <laughs> Greg, thank you so much for uh, sharing this with us and also for helping customers make that transition to AWS Graviton. Thanks, Gerardo. And thank you for watching Partner Solution Bytes. If you want to know more about AC3's Graviton Accelerator, follow the link in the description. See you next time.